Davis Baker here, along with Cedric Morgan, and tonight we'll have another edition of Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. Tonight we'll have the Best Academy Eagles going up against the Thero Panthers. Cedric, tell us a little bit about Best tonight. Well, Best Academy comes in tonight sporting a one and one record led by Coach Joshua Moore. They have nine returning starters from last year's team, and they're currently ranked eighth in the 2A classification. The key players tonight are senior running back, defensive back, Deshaun Waller, he had over 1,500 yards and 24 touchdowns last year. Also, junior running back defensive back, Deshant Hester. And junior tight end and defensive end, Robert Tucker, who leads the defense in tackles. Yeah, and Thera will come in tonight led by coach Dominic Calloway, sporting a record of 1-1. One one. Key players tonight for them are running back Chauncey Payne and defensive end Detravius Patterson, who is being recruited by South Alabama. Darrell has already won as many games this year as they did last year, so they'll have major room for improvement. We'll be back for kickoff after the break. Lakewood Stadium, where we will have another edition of Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. Tonight we'll have the best Academy Eagles against the Thero High Panthers. We are set for kickoff. Best will kick off to start the first half. We'll have a pooch kick here, and it will roll out of bounds at the 28 yard line, so there will be a penalty flag on the field. Is it just a pooch kick to start the game off? Um, Best, best Academy Eagles, Joshua Moore, youngest head coach in the APS at 32 years of age. Look to get this Best Academy team started off right tonight. So the ball will be placed at the 35 yard line to start the game. Farrell's offense now comes out onto the field. Offense there is led by led by freshman Andre Martin, 5'10, 165. Last week had seven carry for 21 yards and a touchdown. Martin sets him in shotgun with Chauncey Payne to his side. Takes a snap now, hands off to Payne. And he is stopped behind the line of scrimmage by the best de defensive line. You're getting your first look at Chauncey Payne. Chauncey Payne there looked a got a guy that wanted to get the ball. A lot in this game to help out this freshman quarterback. Had a total of 20 carries last week, 81 yards, and a touchdown in the win over McNair. Now it'll be second and 10. Martin will set up in the shotgun again. Two receivers out to his left. Man in motion. Hand the ball off, it'll be a jet sweep out to the side, as that was Antoine Sutton who took the ball and ran for about five yards. Yeah, nice little wrinkle there, just a, just a man motion sweep um, there by Antoine Sutton and picked up good yardage around the edge. Now an early third down for Thero as they look to convert. Sutton in motion again. Martin takes a snap, and he keeps it. Uh, no, as it was a read option, he did hand off, but the best defense was there for the stop. Well, they read that play all the way. Uh, just simple handoff there, Coach. Uh, Coach Dominique Calloway there with the, with the conservative play call. They're just handing it right up the middle, not trying to get the freshman quarterback in the passing situation here on the third down early in the ball game. Here we go, as Thero will set up in pump formation on this fourth and seven. Best has two guys deep. Snap is taken and booted deep there. Return by Best, taking at 25. As 
as he was ruled down at the 24-yard line. Get our first look t tonight here at the, the all-purpose player, uh, senior Deshaun Waller. Averages come in averaging 234 all-purpose yards per game and an explosive player for this best team. As the referee stopped play for a minute. And now there will be a penalty against Best. So that will cost them five yards. So now it'll be first and 10 from the Eagles' own 19-yard line. Eye formation here for best. It'll be Deshaun Waller taking the snap. And he handed that ball off to Deshaun Hester. But he wasn't able to get anything on that play. Yeah, Deshaun Hester is a physical down here runner. Has 20 carries and 77 yards on the season. Now Best will have a second and 10. As Waller runs back in the huddle. Here we go as Waller takes the snap and there is a penalty flag. We will have a false start on Best. There's two penalties now on Best Academy Eagles there. Uh, not not very sound to start the ball game, but look to get things turned around. As Waller will be starting at quarterback tonight because their usual starting quarterback is out with a high ankle sprain. Another eye formation for Best. Waller takes the snap, drops back, looks to throw to Tavius Patterson, rushing him. Now steps up in the pocket, looks to run, but it's still sacked there. Waller brought down by Timothy Carter there on the play. Made a lot of men miss. Could have been a sack for a negative five yards, but got close to the original line of scrimmage. And now Bess will have a third and long here with eight minutes to go in the first quarter. Looks like Waller will set up in a pistol formation now. And now we'll have another penalty. And it'll be a delay game on best as that'll back them up five yards again. Now that's the third penalty now to start the start the game off for the best offense. Helping out the Thero Panthers on the defensive side of the ball. So now it'll be a third and nineteen. Waller takes a snap, hands off. As this was Hester. And he hurdles a guy, but only gets about four yards. And now this will set up a fourth and long. Well, they're pretty much, you know, playing behind the behind the chain, so to speak, here in this this opening drive. Three penalties to push him back uh, even further deep in their own territory. So, look them just to punt the ball here, play it safe, and play defense. As it looks like DeSant Hester is the punter here. He will boot it deep, standing from his own goal line. And the ball will take a best roll to the 
49 yard line of the Eagles. Darrell will take over now. And now we have a penalty flag on the field. Referees discussing. And we have another false start on Bess before the play. The penalty starting to add up for Best Academy in this game, as that's the fourth penalty of the game. So a lot of early penalties for Best. And now they will have to re-kick as the false start came before the play. Well, Coach Callaway accepting that penalty there. Getting another shot at the at the punt return, trying to set up for better better field position on the play. But he, Coach Callaway has to like the play of his Daryl Panthers who come in. Uh, this ball game, no penalty so far. And all the penalties on the best academy Eagles. So Coach Joshua Moore on that side of the ball. And talk to his troops and get them rallied together to get uh, get play started a little more cleaner on their side of the ball, helping out Thero with, with field position here. Here we go. Punt is taken in his own end zone. And it looks like there was a punt rush there by Thero, and they did a good job as that was a kind of a shank kick there. Shank kick, and you almost uh, look at about a good 18, a good 18 yard difference. With the, with the with the re kick, so you look at Thero set set up in perfect uh, field position, right outside the twenty yard line in best best academy territory. And now Thero will take over at the best twenty two yard line. So great field position here to start for the Thero Panthers. So Cedric, if you're Coach Callaway, what do you dial up here to try and get something going? Well, Coach Callaway, he's uh, so far in this season pretty much conservative giving the ball to the running back. I'll try a play-action pass to see if I can get some things going. Here we go. That was Chauncey Payne on the direct snap, and he got a good gain of about six yards on that play. Well, I said play-action pass, but you had Chauncey Payne in the backfield lined up in that Wildcat formation, just direct snap and, and just go at the open grass, and he picked up good yardage down first time for, um, first down. Excuse me, Good blocking for the offensive line up front. Here we go. This will set up a second and four. For Thero. And it looks like Chauncey Payne will be in the backfield again to take the snap. He will and he fumbles. Luckily for him, he did jump right back on the ball, but it'll still be a big loss there. Almost a costly turnover there by, by Thero Panthers there. Good set up with good field position and scoring was scoring position and almost gave it right back to Best Academy, but heads up play by Chauncey Payne just diving right back on the ball. So it looked like Thero would have a little bit of momentum there on the second and four, but now that'll back them up to a third and eight. We look to see if uh, Coach Callaway dials up a pass play or elects to just run Chauncey Payne. Payne will now take the snap again. Goes to the right and dives out to about the 17-yard line. Coach Callaway electing to stay on the ground. You got to check his intentions possibly four down territory, so close to the best academy side of the field. So see what he calls in this play. Thera will go for it here on the fourth and five. And Payne is in the backfield again. He takes the snap, same play as they've run before. And it'll be close, but I don't think he got there. Just direct snap right up the middle. Try to pick up as much as he can. Unfortunately, not enough for the first down. And Best Academy did a great job of stopping him there on fourth down and getting the ball back to the offense. Special thanks going out to somewhere on the bottom row. 
as Bess will now set up in a shotgun formation. As Deshaun Waller is in the backfield with Deshaun Hester. Snaps taken by Waller, hands off to Hester, but we have another penalty flag. Right there, just false start on and the it offense. It will be another false start. So false start down the offense, and just best academy just continues the penalty after penalty. Set themselves back behind and down the distance, and just deep in their own territory. So maybe Thurl, the Thurl Panthers can take advantage of these penalties by by Best Academy and possibly uh, get a, a turnover here deep in their own side of the field. So another penalty will set Best up with a first and 15. As Waller takes the snap and he looks to make it a direct run play and he gets a few yards up the middle. Yeah, Wallace slipped on the play, but gathered his feet just enough to get back to the original line of scrimmage and then gain some more yardage on the play. So good game by, by Waller right there. Second and nine now for best. As Waller is in shotgun formation again. Two out to his right. One to his left. And it will be a read option. Waller takes himself and gets two or three up the middle. In the third defense, read it well on that play. Just he had three guys tackle down Waller on that play. Read option. And he caught his own number. Look to try to get the best athlete on the team, Deshaun Waller. Try to get him in open space situations and try to see what he can do. And now Best will have a third and six, as they have done a pretty good job of trying to erase that false start penalty early in the drive. Hester's in the backfield with Waller now. Waller will take the snap, look to throw. Throws up the middle, he's got a man. And he's still going. He breaks a few tackles there and gets out to the 47 yard line as that was Robert Tucker on the reception. Yeah, Deshaun Waller just threaded the needle on that play, had the big, had the big target down the field, shot it right to him. Hester, excuse me, Waller, uh, now three for three on the season, coming in the, in, into the night's game, passing is two for two for 30 yards and a touchdown. Just bit it on that average right there. And the ball will be placed at the Thero 45-yard line. So Best will take over now on a first and 10. Waller now in shotgun by himself. Sends a man in motion as this is Hester. And it'll be a direct snap to Waller and we have yet another penalty flag on the field. The plane blown dead. Looks like the Travis Patterson there got the early start on the defensive side of the ball. And now we will have a timeout on the field. But the penalty flag will be an offsides on the defense. This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. Now we will send it down to Dawn on the field. Hey guys, join us at Dome Coming 2014 with APS versus DeKalb County Showdown. <laughs> Insider game of the week. We are back here at Lakewood Stadium. As Best will move up five yards after the Thera offsides call. Referee now blows his whistle. Waller sends Hester in motion. And Hester will get the ball. Jukes a man. Gets to the outside. And is hit hard by a Thera defender. Just see Hester right there. Physical. Known as the physical runner, but a good good burst of agility right there. You see the replay. You see him shake a man and pick up yardage along that left side of the offensive line. Yeah, as that was their 
Big time defender Ty Collins on the stop. Here we go. This will be a second and seven now for the best Eagles. Waller will set up in another shotgun formation. And he has three receivers out to his right. He'll take the snap, look right. This will be a bubble screen as that was to Hester, but he could not handle it and it'll be ruled an incomplete pass. Good job of Joseph Hinton right there, reading the play, diagnosing it, being in the right area at the right time, but Hester, ball right through his hand right there. Seems to be a, a screen play. Coach Moore calling plays for the first time this season. The offensive coordinator is out for tonight's game, so you get a look at Coach Moore calling the plays. You see what he dials up here on his third and seven. Another third down here for best. As Waller fakes the throw, has a man deep. He's looking for him and it is incomplete. As he was looking for number 18, Robert Tucker, as he's already had a big reception on the night. Yeah, Robert, Robert Tucker there on a on the attempt by Deshaun Waller. Deshaun Waller there with a great placement of the ball, throwing it up high for his man to make a play on the ball, led him, uh, just, in that, just not able to bring it down. And it looks like they're going for it here on this first fourth down. Coach Moore rolling the dice here early in the ball game. As Best will now be faced with a fourth and seven. Waller's in a pistol formation. He'll take the snap and hand it off to Hester, who cuts back after cutting to the outside, but he is stuffed behind the line of scrimmage, and now Thera will take over. Yeah, back-to-back -back fourth down. Uh, fourth down tries by both teams. Both coaches electing to go conservative with runs here on the fourth, fourth down. Uh, just give you a tone of the, of the night's game. Uh, not a lot of high up-tempo passing, more of, the, more of the ground game and pro-style offenses keeping the ball on the ground. So now Thera will take over on their own 43-yard line. As neither offense has gotten much to work tonight, so how do you change that if you're Thera here, Cedric? Well, the coach seems to come in the, in the game, tonight's game with a game plan and he's going to keep it on the ground and just keep what you go, keep what's going good. As Martin takes a snap, rolls out right, we have a penalty flag now, and he hits Chauncey Payne there for the four-yard gain and a big hit there by two best defenders. There's the first look there the quarterback, Andre Martin, a simple rollout play, catching Chauncey Payne in the, in the flat. And we will have a false start on Thero, so that play will be erased, and they'll have to back up five yards. Freshman quarterback, Andre, Andre Martin, you want to get him in as many favorable positions as you want, as he as you can, having him roll out, moving the pocket, uh, trying to get him some good, easy throws. And that's why you see a lot of Chauncey Payne involved in the offense. First and 15 here for Thero. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Atlanta Football Insider and download our app on the App Store and Google Play, Atlanta Football Insider. As now we will have a snap by Martin, hands off to Chauncey Payne, and he gets a good gain of five yards there. Chauncey Payne again on the, on the carry. Pretty much the theme of the night. Hand it to Chauncey Payne, let him, let him pick out yards sophomore for this Thera Panthers team. He came in starting the season with five seniors on his team, so it's a very young team with sophomore running back and freshman quarterback. Martin takes a snap, hands off to Payne again, who cuts to the outside, 
and gains about five there again. Good gain of five there, sending up a short third down. It's a real conservative style of offense. You got to wonder when he's going to throw the play action. As defensive back Deshaun Waller was there for the tackle on that play. You see Deshaun Waller there. He's all over the field. Defense, offense, special teams. He pretty much does everything for this best academy Eagles team. And this will end the first quarter as it'll be best zero and Daryl zero. This Atlanta football insider game of the week. Now we're going to throw it down to Dawn. Hey, guys, join us at Dome Coming 2014 with APS versus DeKalb County Showdown. This is another edition of Atlanta football insider game of the week. Best versus Daryl. We are ready to start the second quarter here as Daryl will have a third and six from their own 47-yard line. Martin takes a snap and he fumbles, and, and Best will pick it up. No, still on the ground. And now we'll have a pile there at the 30-yard line, and Best comes out with it. So a big defensive stop there. Good call there on the, on the third down. Like I said, you don't want to have that freshman quarterback back there having to decide things as he has him eye off the ball, paying attention to that A-gap blitz, blitzing linebackers. Coming right up the middle as you look at the, the replay. This 3-4 defense, very aggressive out here. The best academy, great job with the blitz call and turn, getting the turnover on the third down. So we there wasn't a lot of momentum to build on in the first quarter. So now for best, they're definitely look, looking to build on this. And there will be a penalty flag on the field. And you got to wonder when... And Coach Joshua Moore is going to uh, pick up the pace here. Try to an illegal substitution on Best. Try to get try to get this offense in some favorable matchups on the edge and take advantage of the Best. What? Well, excuse me. Take advantage of Thorough. So another penalty for Best will set them back again. as Jeremiah Lowe will now come in at quarterback for best. Lowe takes the snap, hands off to Waller, and he's able to get to the outside there, and he'll get to about the 30-yard line. Deshaun Waller there on the carry, good, good pickup, dragging the, dragging the defender for at least three or four yards. Seeing the float, a flow run to the right side, didn't see anything that way, so he reverse field him. Took the left left side. As Lowe will be under center again. And he will take the snap. This will be a reverse now to Hester. And he hits a guy. And we'll get to the 25-yard line. Cedric, what would you think of that play there? Well, it just matches what they've been calling all game, trying to trying to get them in good run situations and good pick up there and lowering the shoulder and picking up extra yardage, yards after contact there. So they have a good duo of back to Sean Waller and to Sean Hester. Sort of a thunder and lightning combo there by the best academy Eagles here. As now this will be a short third down conversion. One of the shortest we've had tonight for sure. And now Waller will be back in at quarterback and he will set up in shotgun. And we will have a timeout charge to Thorough. This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. Thorough versus Best. We'll be back after the break. Thanks to our partners, Streets 94.5 Atlanta, the Higher Altitude Foundation, Life Enhancement Services, Prism, Fan's Favorite Fan, and Icky I Pick. This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. We are back here, as this will be a third and three for best at the Thero 25-yard line. Waller and Shotgun takes a snap, rolls out now, looking to pass, and he goes straight up the middle now, jukes a guy, and Detravius Patterson was in on the tackle, but 
Waller will still pick up the first down. He picked up the first down, good bit of blocking there by Anthony Washington, who set everything up on the edge. You see him pick up the, the DN coming up, and he just cut up the middle for the first down. As this will set up a first and 10 from the 16-yard line, so Best will enter the red zone for the first time tonight. The Best Academy doing a good job of subbing in and out guys, keeping guys fresh in the early going of this ball game. As Waller is in shotgun with Hester next to him. He looks to throw again. Patterson bringing pressure, has a man in the end zone and he got him. As that was Terion Riley with the touchdown catch for best. A good job there by Deshaun Waller feeling the pressure to the right side, rolling out to his left, throwing across his body to the man in the end zone. Great throw and great awareness in the pocket by Waller. As in the first quarter, Best couldn't really get anything going on offense, but the start of the second quarter has been very good for them. Well, it seemed like they came out a little bit more aggressive as they got close to the to the game, but it's all Deshaun Waller there with the run and the pass for the touchdown. As Tion English is in for the extra point, and he kicks it through, but there is a penalty flag on the field. And this will be a false start, so Best will have to re-kick. So another false start here for Best. Cedric, if you're Coach Moore, what do you tell your guys? This has been about eight or nine of them now, and it's early second quarter. Well, you got to tell you guys to stick to the fundamentals, stay sound, um, all three facets of the game, special teams, offense, and defense, because these penalties can, can bite you down the line, if not this game, later on down the season. So you got to put a cap on it and just stay, stick to the fundamentals. So Best will be backed up five yards. And English will re-kick the extra point. English now kicks it up. And booms it right through. Good kick, good kick there. Get your drop. Get your drop. Your score, the best Eagles seven coming off a touchdown, the Thero Panthers zero, and they will be receiving the ball. As two Thero players set back deep. Tion English with the kick now. And he will boot it right into Chauncey Payne's hands. Payne goes right up the middle now. He's got room. There he goes. And he will cut out to the 30. Man trailing him. And he will not it will bring him down at the eight yard line. Is a huge return there by Chauncey Payne. Chauncey Payne, the all around best athlete here. The running back stand out right up the middle. Uh, you tell you to stay in your rush lanes on the on the kickoff coverage right there. Open wide open. And he took advantage of it. Set it up on the seven yard line. First and first and goal. As you saw, English did not kick to Chauncey Payne on the first kickoff, and you can see why now. Yeah, it pretty much explains why he decided to kick it. The pooch style, they're probably going to do that the rest of the remainder of the ball game. As this will set Thurl up with a big first and goal here. As Andre Martin will take the snap under center. 
And he fumbles the ball, but he will pick it up and now roll out almost like a bootleg. And he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yes, the second fumble snap there by Andre Martin, the freshman, and just picks the ball up and does what he can to try to get back to the line of scrimmage as the best player down on the field. Yes, yeah, we have the best player down on the field now. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Atlanta Football Insider, and download our app, Atlanta Football Insider. We'll, we will be back after this break. We are back here at Lakewood Stadium. As Thera will now have a second and goal from the six. Andre Martin is under center in the I form. He'll hand it off now to Chauncey Payne, who stumbles and gets a few yards there. Chauncey Payne picking up tough yardage there, getting through the hole. Stopped by Deshaun Butler on the play. Wrapped him up and brought him right down to the ground. But you've been seeing his conservative style getting the ball into Chauncey Payne's hands. you got to wonder when they're going to pull it with the, for the play action and look over top. As Thurl has not attempted to pass tonight. And it looks like Chauncey Payne will take a direct snap here. He will. He goes up the middle. And he crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Thurl. As Chauncey Payne just took that ball and went right up the middle. And Chauncey Payne right there. Just a straight, direct snap. You've been running it all game. And hold opened up for him. Good job offensive line of sticking their blocks and giving them an open hole for the touchdown. And after not having any score in the first quarter, we have already had two touchdowns in less than four minutes. Well, you know the first part of the game is the Philly out process to see what this team is going to run against, against you in this set and seeing what they're going to run against you in this set. So both teams settling down a bit here. Both coaches settling down a bit and getting their guys running with execution on these past few drives. But look to see if they can – trade scores throughout the throughout the night and we will have a timeout for Thero. now we will see what don has for us on the field hey guys join us at dome coming 2014 with aps versus the cab county showdown <laughs> this is the atlanta football insider game of the week we are back here at lakewood stadium as your score seven to six best but Thero is on for the extra point opportunity Hold is good, and Chauncey Payne kicks this ball deep, but it will be wide left. Yeah, good pressure there by the by their front, front of Best Academy, putting pressure on the kick. Just calls it to bounce high. And so now after that touchdown, Thera will still trail Best 7-6, to six, and they will kick off now with 8 minutes and 18 seconds to go in the second quarter. Best Academy coming off the, the best drive of the night. Uh, set up by Deshaun Waller, picking up a key third down conversion and rolling out to the left, finding the man in the end zone for the touchdown. Look to see more of that with Deshaun Waller in it. it pretty much at quarterback, the starting quarterback for the Best Academy Eagles uh, suffered a high ankle sprain, and they're sitting him out, resting him uh, for the, the long haul in the, in the season. Now Thurl will come on to kick off. Back to best. As number 50, Dexter Brown, will kick off for Thurl. Thurl not showing any, any quit, uh, getting down early in the ball game. This team coming off a one and nine season last year and they have as many wins as they did last year uh, already early in the season, so. Coach Callaway getting it turned around, getting these guys believing and, and fighting. As Hester and Waller are back deep, the two star running backs for best. As Dexter Brown kicks this ball deep, and it will be muffed. But he picks it up, finds a hole, 
And he will be brought down by Dexter Brown at the 45 yard line. As that was Quantavius Stiggers on the reception. Return, excuse me. Well, good job. He fumbled it, but he, he gathered himself together, picked it up, and, and just ran down the left side. Sets up good field position for Best and, and Deshaun Waller. See the bigger receivers out there for the best academy against the smaller defensive backs for the Thurl. So see if they can coach. Coach Moore takes advantage of that. And now Thurl, excuse me, Best will have a first and 10 from their own 46 yard line. But this will be good starting field position for Deshaun Waller in the offense. Waller takes a snap and he will. Taking himself as it was a read option, sold the fake well, and went right up the middle for about nine yards. Right there, read option. Look, if you see the replay, just riding that running back until makes the DN. He reads off the DN. The DN bites down on the running back, and he keeps it up the middle. The DN bites on the on the quarterback. The quarterback hands it off to the running back going around the edge. So great, great play design and great read there by Deshaun Waller. So now. Best will have a short second and one. As Waller will set up in shotgun again. And he will take the snap. Waller goes right up the middle, jukes a guy, and gets to the 40 yard line. Sean Waller, again on the on the run. Good juke ability there, right? If you look at the replay right now, you right up the right up the middle and jukes a guy and Picks up the first down. Last year, he was Waller was all region, Iron Man Award, and honorable mention in the state. He rushed for over, over 1,500 yards and 24 touchdowns and averaged 12 yards a carry as a junior. And now Best will have another first and 10. As Hester goes to the right side of him, he now looks to throw. This will be a slant up the middle to Robert Tucker who has his second reception of the night. Yeah, Robert Tucker there on the reception. Big target, has two touchdowns on the season. He also leads the defense in tackles as well, so he's turning into a big-time recruit. No offers yet, but great, great ability on both sides of the ball. So now another short second down for best. We'll see if they can convert. As Waller will go under center now, and he will hand off here to DeShant Hester. But we will have a penalty flag on the field. A good job by Hester. Just hitting that hole. It's a simple little handoff up the middle. Putting his head down. And he, he gets a lot of yards after contact. Known as a down here runner. And he's showing that right there on that play. And now we await the referee's decision on the penalty call. And it will be an illegal shift on best, so that will set them back five yards. This will now be a second and seven. Now with double digit penalties here on best academy in this ball game. You got a, the offensive coordinator is out for tonight's game and Coach Moore's first night calling plays also the starting quarterback uh, out for tonight's game. So just that continuity there on the offensive side of the ball is probably key in the character why that's happening. As Waller now takes a snap and runs for about nine yards, and he will pick up the first down there. Talked about the penalty yard is setting him back, but Waller right there on the run, right up the middle, just pick, picking up the first down and getting those yards right back. And it seems like ever since the second half started, this best offense, and Deshaun Waller in particular, have been re very relaxed. You've got to be happy if you're Coach Moore, Cedric. Yeah, you Coach Moore, you definitely relax when you got a guy like Deshaun Waller on the offense side of the ball, a uh, playmaker all around. So just settling in at the quarterback position, just catching the snaps, and he's pretty much doing it on the ground and, run and passing. As Waller takes a snap again, and on the read option, goes up the middle, but now cuts to the outside. And he will be taken down by Ty Collins. Ty Collins came up 
made the hit, but not before. Sean Wallace breaks at least three tackles going around that right end. Picking up good yardage there on first down. So this will be a second and eight for best. We have five minutes and 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. And now we'll have another timeout charge to Thera. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Atlanta Football Insider and download our app on Google Play and the App Store, Atlanta Football Insider. We'll be back after the break. Thanks to our partners, Streets 94.5 Atlanta, the Higher Altitude Foundation, Life Enhancement Services, PRISM, Fans' favorite fan in Icky I Pick. This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. We are here at Lakewood Stadium. Your score, best seven, Thero six. And best will now have a second and eight at the Thero 27 yard line. Waller takes a snap. And he rolls out to his left now. He's got a man wide open. And that was Robert Tucker. With the big catch there on the diving catch. Yeah, Waller, well, Coach Moore, start with Coach Moore calling. Good play call with the play action rollout there by Deshaun Waller showing that run action, hooking up with Robert Tucker there. Could have put a little bit more air under the ball. He could have sailed in the end zone. But nevertheless, good pickup there by Deshaun Waller to Robert Tucker. And now Best will have a first and goal from the three. Waller will now go under center with Hester right behind him. He'll hand off to Hester, who looks to pound it in, but he was stopped short of the goal line. There's just a good push there on the defensive line by the Panthers. Joseph Hinton there making first contact, pushing Hester back. So now a second and goal. Waller will go under center again. Takes a snap, he'll hand off to Hester, and he fumbles. He fumbles, and it looks like Thero got it. Yes, they did. So a big take, take there by Thero. Well, that play right there started with Joseph Hinton coming up, make, just making it stop the play before, not letting him get in the end zone. And the next play right here, coming up with the punch out there and getting the ball with the fumble by Hester. Only bad thing for Thera on that play is if the ball would have been a yard deeper, it would have been in the end zone for a touchback, but now they'll have to take over at their own one-yard line. So, Cedric, if you're Coach Moore, do you dial up a blitz and try and get two points on the safety? Definitely, definitely. I, if I was Coach, I, was, I would dial up that A-gap blitz that he dialed up to get the first turnover, uh, try to get pressure up the middle, make him go to the outside and let my athletes run him down on the outside and try to, try to make a play. And now we will have a timeout charge to best. This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. We are back. And now Chauncey Payne will take the snap up the middle and get out to about the three-yard line. So Darrell avoids the safety on that play. Yeah, Coach Callaway calling the, his favorite play of the night just that direct snap play to the to Chauncey Payne there. Getting out, give him some space there on the goal line. And now Chauncey Payne is coming out of the game as he has his helmet off. And he will be heading to the sideline. You can see him walking with a slight limp. Hopefully for there was nothing serious as he's been the spark for all the offense uh, and special teams setting up that touchdown, also ran in by him. So now Martin will be under center. And he fumbles. He fumbles again. And we will see who picks it up. As this could be a touchdown for best if they picked it up in the end zone. And Darrell did hop back on it, but it will be at the one-yard line. Yeah, just a just a miscommunication by the center and quarterback on the exchange there. And you see that young quarterback is three, three missed time uh, snaps on the night. Uh, you get that 
a lot running in and out, having different guys uh, playing the quarterback position. You have a miscommunication with the center and quarterbacks exchange. So look to try to get that cleaned up, especially here on the our own goal line. As Chauncey Payne is back in fourth arrow, and he will take the snap up the middle, and he's tackled in his own end zone. That's a safety. Two points for Best. Best is blowing up all the holes right there, and he had him backed up to the inch line, and just great play there by that D line of Best, getting the safety. So a big play for Best there, as they will get the two points and the ball back. And it was Robert Tucker there, the uh, team leader in tackles. Robert Tucker on the stop. As you saw earlier, Andre Martin with another fumble. As that has been his third fumble on a snap. Cedric, if you're Andre Martin, what do you tell yourself? You know, how do you regain your composure? Uh, it's, it's not much you can tell yourself. Just you can just forget about it and just go on to the next play. Uh, don't dwell on it. Just you know, just go to the next play. And I mean, you, it's still a long game. You have three minutes to go in the second quarter and the whole second half, and you're only down one. Well. Excuse me. Now three points, nine to six. Uh, just, just hang in there and, and just stay in there mentally. So now, there are will kick off from their own twenty yard line. It's just been a sluggish, sluggish game on both sides of the ball, where they start the game with the early penalties for best. Uh, on the Thero side, the fumble snaps by the quarterback. Um, just not really getting a flow to the game, but see, both teams are looking to, to go with the ground game. and Best Academy opening up a little bit with Deshaun Waller at quarterback. The senior opposed on the opposite side with Andre Martin, the, the freshman. So you just see the two contrasting styles there by both coaches and both quarterbacks. Yes, this will be Dexter Brown on the kick. And this will be a squib kick, but Waller will still pick it up and he gets out to about the 45 yard line. As it's Ty Collins there on the stop. And Brandon Smith there on the play. Sean Waller returning kicks, playing quarterback, running the ball in the, at, from the quarterback position almost as a running back. So he's giving you his threat on almost every, every facet of the ball game for Best Academy. Best Academy came in returning nine starters on last year's team. Last year had four players to make the all-region team. So, the, but, uh, a good senior group with a lot of talent. So Waller will take the snap here. He will roll out to his left now. Good blocking, but we will have a penalty flag. And he will just throw it away. You had a man man down the field. It was Terry on Riley wide open, but Deshaun Waller electing to throw the ball out of bounds. Penalties continue to come in on the best side of the ball with the holding penalty. Yeah, so that'll set them back 10 yards. So there have been a lot of penalties on both sides of the ball tonight. But just specifically for best academy, you got uh, the, uh, specifically the offensive side of the ball. Like I said, uh, the quarterback for best uh, out for tonight's game. Uh, Nursing a high ankle sprain. And the offensive coordinator is sending tonight's game out. Coach Moore calling the plays. But uh, with all that said, they're still up uh, six to, what, nine to six on the sterile team. Probably could have been a little more, but led by Deshaun Waller, their quarterback. As Waller looks over to the sidelines, Coach Moore calls the play. Here, Waller drops back. To Travius Patterson with the big pressure, but Waller's able to get out. And there he goes up the middle. Now it looks like he might go. He's tiptoeing down the sidelines now. No one's going to get him. Touchdown, Deshaun Waller. 
Deshaun Waller with a great display of athleticism right there. The Thero Panthers come on the blitz. In the backside, not, not keeping contained and staying in their lanes. And Deshaun Waller taking advantage, racing down the sideline for a long touchdown. 70 yards. As that play has the best fans on their feet. So now it'll be 15 to 6. And best will come on for the extra point opportunity. Yeah, we're well talking about a guy, Deshaun Waller, this year. Came in, came in with. 342 rush yards and 43 carries, eight yards per carry in one touch, and passing two for two, 30 yards, and averaging 234 all-purpose yards per game. So he's not disappointed in the night's ball game. He has college offers from Indiana, University of North Carolina, Jacksonville State, to name a few, and he's putting on a performance here tonight, leading us this best Academy Eagles team against Thero Panthers. And we will have a timeout now for best, so we will send it down to Dawn on the field. Hey, guys, join us at Dome Coming 2014 with APS versus DeKalb County Showdown. My football insider, we are back here at Lakers Stadium. Best is on now for the extra point after their touchdown. Snap is good. Kick is up. And it is no good. Wide left. As that was number 62, Tion English on the missed kick. With the score of 15 to 6, pretty much best academy in control of this ball game. See how Thera comes out this next drive and respond to the score by, by the Eagles. So best will now kick off. As Thera will send... Chauncey Payne and Jaquavius Lee back deep. As Tion English, who just missed the extra point, will kick off. And it will be interesting to see if he will kick to Chauncey Payne or Jaquavius Lee after the big run back last time. English's kick is a, another squib kick, and it'll be taken by Ty Collins, and he'll just dive down at the 50-yard line. Yeah, good heads-up play there by Ty Collins, picking the ball up and just getting to the ground, uh, limiting, not trying to fumble the ball, get best the ball back. Essentially starting from midfield to see what the – Thero Panthers come out in this drive. It's pretty much two minutes and 27 seconds left in the half. And so Andre Martin will be under center as we have seen him, we have seen him fumble a few balls tonight. And he'll hand right up the middle to Chauncey Payne, who is stuffed at the line. It's right up the middle, Chauncey Payne, feeding the back. With a small gain on first down. So now it'll be a second and eight for Thero as we hit two minutes to go in the half. Martin under center again. He'll take the snap, and it looks like he almost fumbled that ball again as he hands off to Payne, who gets to the outside for a few yards. Yeah, look at the, look the fumble. Look at the replay there. Andre Martin, uh, good concentration there, getting a hold of it and giving it to Chauncey Payne. The, the coaches, Coach Callaway from Thoreau, is, is pretty pretty much adamant with keeping the ball on the ground, uh, running his clock down, making the game as short as possible, and is trying to keep his guys and his defense fresh over there, running this ball, running out, running some clock. So, so this will be a third and six from the best 47-yard line, Fort Thero. Martin takes a snap, and it'll be a play action. Throws deep, and it is intercepted by Best. As it looks like that was number seven, DeNorris Freeman. 
the Norris Freeman on a great interception, but you look at Andre Martin there taking a big hit as he released the ball and he's still down. So as Cedric was waiting for, he kept calling the play action and it finally came. It came and it came almost at a price. Andre Martin still on the ground. Uh, D-line snuffing that play out and putting pressure on the quarterback across the air throw leading to the interception. And now we will have an injury timeout on the field with a minute to go. We will be back after the break. We have a minute to go in the half at Lakewood Stadium. Your score, best 15, Daryl 6. As Deshaun Waller will throw up the middle, but it is incomplete as he tried to get Robert Tucker there. Yeah, good pressure. Good pressure on the on the D D N right there, the Travius, the Travius Patterson. First time you call his name tonight for uh, pressure right there on hitting the arm as he threw it and ball sail right in the ground. So this will be a second and ten for best from their own eight yard line. Waller has Hester next to him in the backfield. They'll take the snap, run right up the middle. And a good gain by Waller, as we've seen that play a few times tonight. Yeah, just the quarterback draw play right there. Just seen open grass in the middle of the field. And just took it and picked up the first down. So that will move the chains. And Bess will have another first and ten. Waller takes a snap now. It'll be a bu bubble screen to Hester. He gets out and there he goes, up the sidelines. And he jukes a man and gets into Thero territory. Big play there by Hester, just taking the screen. You want to get your playmakers out in space one-on-one, -on -one, put the juke move on the cornerback and took off down the sidelines. So Waller will set up now under center. And he'll spike it to stop the clock. With 23 seconds to go in the half. You see this uh, two-minute drill offense here. Fast pace and up-tempo trying to get get a score before the half. Good play call in there by Joshua Moore. And good execution by the best offense. As you saw in the previous play, just a simple bubble screen to Deshant Hester. Got best a very big gain. So now this will be a second and 10 from the Thero 44 for best. Waller takes a snap, looks to throw again. Now scrambles up the middle and he will have another good gain as he hurdles a guy down to the 22 yard line and we will have a flag now on the field. The flag seemed to be probably a late hit on Ty Collins as he hit Deshaun Waller going out of bounds. Good athleticism jumping over the defender and out of bounds to stop the clock, Deshaun Waller. Said his D1 athlete has offers from Indiana, University of North Carolina, also Charlotte, Jacksonville State. Rushed for over 1,500 yards last year and 24 touchdowns, averaging 12 yards a carry. And averaging 234 total all purpose yards a game this year. And now this will be a holding on the defense. So this will set up a first and 10 for best. So that will add on to the play. And best will not have the ball at the Thero 12. So with 13 seconds, we'll see if they can put some more points up on the board before halftime. Waller's in the backfield by himself to take the snap. Low snap. He looks, though. It'll be a fade. And it is almost intercepted as there were two Thero defenders there to break up that pass. Robert Tucker there. 
on the other side of that ball, just trying to get the big 6'3", 220-pound junior one-on-one jump ball and had to turn into a defender, batting the ball away from the defense who almost had the interception. So now with seven seconds, it looks like Best will have to try and score on this play. Waller is in the backfield by himself once again. Low snap again. Waller steps up, though. Has a man. And that was Quantavius Stiggers. But he was not able to get into the end zone. Is that is, And that is how we will end the half. So, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of your first half, the score, best 15, Daryl 6. We'll send it down to Don on the field now, and we'll be back for some second half action. It's halftime here at Lakewood Stadium. We have Best Academy leading 15 to 6. Let's check out the scores around Atlanta. Hey guys, this is Dawn. I'm standing here with Coach Moore from Best Academy. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, aside from this lightning delay we're having. I know, I know. Tell me more. Tell me about the first half. How do you guys feel about that? Well, I, this is the second week in a row we came out real sluggish. Um, hopefully the second half we can pick it up and play the type of football we're capable of playing. Okay, how are you going to keep the momentum going since we've had the rain delay? Well, we just coached the guys up in the locker room, make sure we made some corrections on the things that we were making mistakes on, and hopefully we made the right corrections and we can go ahead and make it happen in the second half. All right, good luck in the second half. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm standing here with Mr. English. How are you feeling? I'm great. How are you? I'm wonderful. I mean, we're dealing with this rain delay. How do you feel about it? I'm good. We're well, all glad the kids are back on the field. All right, tell us more about your position and what you do. So I'm the chairman of the Atlanta Public Schools Board of Education. More importantly, for the night, though, I used to teach at best, and I coach in middle school. Okay, all right, that's good to know. So tell us some things that you guys are looking forward to doing this school year. Uh, inside the school on the football field? Both. <laughs> Well, you know, Best, this is our uh, seventh year of operation. Uh, really, really proud. We got stable leadership both at the middle school, high school level. Um, so I'm looking forward to what our kids are going to be able to do inside the classroom. On the field, you know, this is our first year being a ranked team. Uh, that's really, really exciting for us. Made it to the state playoffs last year. So looking forward to continue this streak. All right. Well, you stay dry, and I see you have an umbrella, so you better use it. All right. <laughs> all right. Enjoy the game. We are back here at Lakewood Stadium. After a long inclement weather delay, we will have Thero kick off to Best to start the second half. And we are set here for the kickoff. As this is muffed early. And Best will pick it up, but a close call there to start the second half. So this will set up a first and 10 for Best at their own 32 yard line. As this will be Deshaun Waller in the pistol formation. He takes a pit and it'll be a pitch to the outside and a big run down the sideline there. So now Best will set up in Thero territory. Waller now takes a snap. Hands off. Up the middle. And he's... Still going, but now he will be wrapped up by a few Thero defenders. It's Hester again on the carry, breaking a few tackles, but getting pushed back for almost lost the yardage on the play. 
Now it'll be a second and ten from the 47-yard line. Excuse me, a second and eight from the 47-yard line of Thero. Walker sets up in shotgun. Looks to his receivers now. Takes a low snap. Runs it right up the middle. And he will pick up a first down there. As he found a gap there after the, taking the low snap. It's Deshaun Waller there on the carry. Seeing pressure coming up the right side on a blitz. And he took off down the field to pick up another first down. So now Best will be at the Thero 38-yard line with the first down. And again, Best's usual starting quarterback is out tonight. So the usual running back, Deshaun Waller, is playing quarterback tonight. Waller takes a snap, and this will be another bubble screen as that was to DeShant Hester, but he couldn't find him. Yes, yeah, the bubble screen, they ran it three times tonight, one time going for over 30 yards downfield right there, just overthrow there by the quarterback, Deshaun Waller, who's thrown for a touchdown pass in tonight's game as well. Waller will have two receivers to his left. Three, excuse me. Uh, still set up in shotgun formation again. He rolls out, pressure coming, and finds room to scramble as he makes a man miss, but it will still be a sack on the play. Yeah, way to stay after it there by Ty Collins who came over with the sack. Good job of containing Deshaun Waller there. He's been getting away from the defense of Thero all night long, but good job of corralling him and bringing him down in that play. So this will be a third and long to start the second half for best. Third and long here as Waller takes the snap. And it is incomplete. So a big stop by the Thero defense to start the second half. It was Robert Tucker there. Passed, getting thrown to Robert Tucker, 6-3. Tight end. Not able to come down with it. And now DeShant Hester. Will punt for Best. As Best doesn't really rush anyone. Hester's kick will be a line drive. And this will be down at about the two-yard line. A great punt there by DeShant Hester. Yeah, good job punting that ball. You see he angled it, uh, angled it low, so he got a good bounce at the end there. Ended up on the one-yard line. And Cedric, earlier in this game, we saw a situation like this where Thero had the ball close to their own goal line and it resulted in a safety. What do you do if you're Andre Martin to make sure that doesn't happen again? Well, first off, just focus on catching the ball first before you do anything with it. A young quarterback have his mind on, on the play or whatever you run to run. You got to catch the catch the ball first before you can do anything. As Martin will take the snap under, and excuse me, that was. As that was Ty Collins on the carry. Ty Collins there on the run. You used to seeing Chauncey Payne back there, but switching it up a little bit with putting Ty Collins back there. So now another snap, 
And the best defensive line with another big play. Good job by Best blowing that play up at the line of scrimmage with no game right there on the play. So now another third and long for Thero as the ball will be at the one-yard line. So the best defense here will be looking to put two more points up on the board as they did earlier in the first half. Snap is taken, rolls out, and he's looking to throw. He throws it up, and it is incomplete, but it looks like we will have a defensive pass interference, as that was Ricky Wolf, who is the intended receiver. And then Javion Presley on the coverage uh, seemed to panic with the ball in the air. He had fantastic position, but just panicked and grabbed the receiver and for a pass interference. Pass was intended for number nine, Ricky Wolf. And that will be another first down for Thurl. So a good start to the drive for them. Yeah, they needed that because they, they haven't had many uh, positive plays, especially with the ball in the goal line. That's, they, that's a well-needed penalty right there to pick up the first down. Ball will be placed at their own 16-yard line. Snap is now taken. It'll be a pitch. This will be Ty Collins on the edge. As that was Chauncey Payne on the carry, excuse me. That was Chauncey Payne, just a toss play, trying to outrun the defenders to the outside and pick up. Positive yards on first down. So this will set up a second and eight. Fourth arrow. This time they will be in shotgun formation. Snaps taken. Looks to throw. It'll be a screen to the wide receivers. That's Chauncey Payne on the reception. And he picks up a first down on that play. You got it to him early there on the play and made one guy miss and was able to get down the sidelines and pick up some good yards to pick up the first down. So now they're electing to throw the ball a little more opposed to the run heavy first half. So this will be another first and 10 for Thero from their own 28 yard line. Shotgun formation again. Snap is taken and Quarterback will take it himself up the middle. It's a quarterback keep right there. Pretty much got turned up at the line of scrimmage. Good job of holding them to the ball though, because it seemed like they were reaching, reaching in, trying to knock the ball out. Now this will be a second and nine. For Therrells, they've gotten a few first downs on this drive to start. Quarterback now takes a snap, and they look like looks to be another screen play to Chauncey Payne, but this time it was incomplete. Good coverage by Bess. Yeah, Bess was there on the coverage. Good, uh, read the play all the way, and was able to bat down the ball. It's a good defensive call right there. Good awareness on the defense side of the ball by Bess. So a third and long here for Thero, but they have converted one already. So third and 10 here. Snaps taken. Looks on a screen, excuse me, a slant, but it was incomplete. As intended receiver on that play was Ricky Wolf. 
Well, the ball intended for Ricky Wolf just overthrown by the quarterback that just slipped out of his hands and he overthrew him right there. And that sets up a punt here on fourth down. Yeah, for there it looked like they might have a drive set up here, but after two first downs, they'll be forced to punt. Well, they just needed that just to get uh, switched to uh, field position. They were on the goal line almost the whole night, so just picking up some yards to pick up good field position. So Theros punt will be deep. Best rushes only two players. They'll like not to touch it. And Theros will down the ball at the best 38 and a half yard line. So Cedric, if you're Deshaun Waller, you come out, you come back out onto the field with your defense making another great stop. What do you do here? Do what you've been doing all day. You just take care of the football, and you 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 know make plays when when they're there. You see, he runs when he has to. You know, he throws on when he has to. Pretty much sticking with the game plan that the coaches came in with. Waller will be in a pistol formation. We've seen him there a few times tonight. And it looks like this will be Deshant Hester who gets around the edge and goes down the sidelines there for a big first down. Yeah, Hester turned the corner and picked up a bit of yards before stepping out of bounds. Good blocking there on the edge by the best, best wide receivers, opening up the outside edge for him on that one. So that will set up a first and 10 for best from the Thero 39-yard line. Excuse me, they're a 45-yard line. You got to wonder how these players feel after being out in the back for such a long time on their rain delay, especially the the Thero Panthers defense being worked by this offensive best. Snaps now taken, and this will be Waller who takes it on the read option and gets a few yards. Ty Collins there on the stop, but not before he picked up a few yards on the play. Good job by Waller, picking up positive yards and getting down before the defender got to him. He been real smart with that sliding, uh, stepping out of bounds, and not taking any big hits. Especially when the field conditions are wet like this, you'd hate to be hit hard and then lose the ball, give the ball to Thero. Smart play there by Waller. Waller now looks over to the sideline. Regroups with his offensive line. Snaps taken. Looks to throw. He has a man up the middle. And it's intercepted by Therrell. And now he's taking it. Gets a man on a block. And he will take it to the 30-yard line. As that was Corey Webb on the interception. Of fantastic play there. Good job by Corey Webb coming down with that one. Ball a little overthrown by, by Wall on that one, but... Nevertheless, good job, Corey Webb, on the interception and the big play for Thera when they needed it. So the Thera defense will certainly hope to give the Thera offense something to build off here as we have four minutes and six seconds to go in the third quarter. Thera's offense now will come back on the field. Make sure you download our Atlanta Football Insiders app on iTunes and Google for iPhone and Android. And also check us out on Twitter and Facebook, Atlanta Football Insiders. And now we have an early flag before the ball snap. And it will be an illegal substitution on Thero, setting them back five yards. So this will be a first and 15 from Therrell's own 26-yard line after the big interception by Corey Webb. Snap is taken. Looks around. And he'll try and find a man deep, but there were three 
best defenders there as he had no shot at completing that. Yeah, he had a defender on, on each man out, out in cup out in uh, on the routes on that play right there. He just threw it deep. Uh pretty much predetermined throw right there. Just threw it deep and the man got tripped up by three best defenders. They're throwing it a lot more here in the second half than they have in the in the first half and it's kinda of, kinda of puzzling considering the conditions out there uh with rain. So this will set up a second and fifteen. Here we go. As the quarterback will take the snap, he tries to find Chauncey Payne on that screen they've ran a few times, and he is eaten up in the backfield there for a loss. Yeah, and that's like the third time they have ran it, second time here in the second half. And the first time they gained a good chunk of yardage, but the second two times, the best defense was ready for that one. And it got him for a minimal gain, or actually a loss on the play. So this will be a third and long for Therrell. So it'll be a third and 17 to be exact. Snap is taken. Best rushes guys to the outside. And it is complete as the receiver on that play was Ricky Wolf, and he's been targeted a few times tonight. Yeah, good throw with pressure in his face by the quarterback and picking up a big first down. One of the first one, first first downs uh, with a, a completion last first down coming on the previous drive when the defense got called for pass interference. But good, good play design there by the coach from Thera and good execution by that offense. Unfortunately for Thero, this will be marked a fourth and one. And now we will have an official timeout on the field. This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. Your score, best 15, Thero 6. We'll be back after this. Thanks to our partners, Streets 94.5 Atlanta, the Higher Altitude Foundation, Life Enhancement Services, Prism, Fans' Favorite Fan, and Icky I Pick. After that last pass completion, it was ruled a first down by the chains. So that will set up a first and 10, fourth arrow from their own 41 yard line. Yeah, so the play is staying in uh, for the first down and it's positive going forward for the Thera offense. Maybe they can build on it and get something going here. Quarterback drops back now, looks to throw once again, and it's a jump ball and it is complete as that will be down at the 38-yard line of best. A good completion there. That's another another completion. In traffic, but a completion nonetheless. The quarterback is gaining some confidence out there. And the third offense is moving up, up the field now by the passing game, not the running game. So coaches has come out in the second half and changed things up. Coach Callaway uh, passing the ball a lot more here in the second half opposed to the first as that was a standout player for Thero, Detravius Patterson on the reception. He has a college offer from Southern Alabama. Snap is taken now. Rolls out to his right now. He'll go back to his left. Has plenty of running room. Has a big hit there, but he will gain about eight yards on the play. It's a good run there by the quarterback. Saw open grass to the left side. No one open. Just take off down the field. Gained about eight on the play. So now we will have two minutes to go in the third quarter. And Thera will have a second and three. Snap is now taking shotgun again. Looks to throw again, and looks like he was hit by a defender. Could not get the throw off, as it will be ruled incomplete. Yeah, the defensive line came in, uh, hit his arm down, and forced the incompletion. It's first pressure there by the defensive line of best, getting back there to the quarterback. So this is a big third down for the best defense as they have not been able to get a stop on this drive. They will look to here. 
Shotgun formation again from Therrell as they have come out and thrown the ball a lot more in the second half. And it'll be a direct snap to the quarterback. He goes right up the middle. And this play will be close to the first down marker. We'll see what they rule it. Yeah, looked at forward progress. Got him past the sticks for the first down. Good job. But the quarterback just kept it on the play and lowered his head and got what he can get and looked to be a first down. So that will be a first down for Thero. So another big first down for them, and they've kept the chains moving on this drive. But yeah, they're not as run heavy as they were in the first half, switching things up, passing on first down when the defense expecting to run, and just hitting the running back, Chauncey Payne down the open space and giving them more running lanes to work with. And this opened up the offense here in the second half. Here we go, shotgun formation again. Snap will be taking. And he'll be sacked. As it looked like it was number 21, Corey Clem, who stopped up the quarterback in the backfield for best. Yeah, the quarterback's been gaining uh, a lot of yards on the ground this drive. Good job there. Sticking in and tripping him up on the play. So this will be about a second and 14. As the clock is running down on the third quarter. Snap is taken. And he'll look to run again up the middle. And, and now he pitches it, it looks like. Or is fumbled. And it appeared Best had it, but it will be picked up by Therrell, and they will get a first down. Yeah, quarterback ran right, right through the line and got hit, and the ball jarred loose into the hands of the best defender and back into the hands of one of uh, Therrell Panther there, and he was able to pick up yards on the ground. So now we will have a timeout charge to Best. We'll have 13 seconds left to go in the third quarter when we come back. This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. Lakewood Stadium for Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. This week we have Best and Thero. Thero will now have a first and ten from the Best 15. And Best will bring pressure here. Jones shakes off a of man, but he is still sacked. And Jones did a good job of eluding their first defender, but the Best defense taking the challenges upon themselves as Thero's picking up the offense, but good play there by the defense of Best. So this will be the end of the third quarter. Your score, best 15, Thero 6. Now we will send it back to John on the field, and we will be ready with some fourth quarter action. This is Dawn. I'm standing here with Principal Powell. How are you? We're doing well. We're hanging in there tonight. All right. How do you feel about the rain delay tonight? Actually, you know, the boys have been handling it pretty well. They went back. They kind of talked about the game. They came back rejuvenated, and they're playing hard, just like they played during the first half. Right, right, right. So how do you feel about um, keeping the fans up to date on what's going on with the weather, keeping them motivated to stay to support the team? How, do, how does the school feel about that? Actually, I think we have some good numbers. Being where we are, it was about two hours ago, feels like, right, right, when, right. We, when we first had the rain delay. And so the fans have been here with us. The parents have been supportive. And it's really good for the boys to see that their fans will stay with them through thick and thin, even through wind. All right. Thank you very much. And you stay dry. Thank you. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. This is the Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. We are here at Lakewood Stadium. 
And we are ready to start the fourth quarter. As Thera will have a second and 12 at the best 17. So they're inside the red zone. And we will have a flag on the field. Seems to be offsides by the defense. Got to start a little early there on the defensive line. Thera's offense is woken up here in the second half with the insertion of quarterback uh, Chavez Jones. So Jones will take the snap from the shotgun. And he'll look to throw again. And that ball was incomplete as he underthrew his receiver. This will now set up a third and seven. You just threw a, threw a little a little bit of two in front of him right there. Didn't have his feet set. And it's third and seven. For this best defense, they need to stop here. Let's see if they can get it. So Jones will be in the shotgun again. And lots of pressure from Best. And now it is intercepted as he scrambled and didn't have a clean throw. And now it looks like he will be gone. Nobody's touching him. As that was Katarian Legrone on the pick six there. A beautiful play. Yeah, the quarterback waited waited too long, and he read it all the way, just read the quarterback's eyes and just picked it off and took it to the house. No one in front of him. So now for Thero, you basically have that drive from early third quarter all the way now to the start of the fourth quarter, and it ends in a pick six. Yeah, had a lot invested in that drive, picked up a ton of first downs, and a lot of good plays there by Chavez Jones on, the, on that and just led to that pick six by the best defense. As I don't think we saw a single run by Chauncey Payne on that drive. Yeah, well, the good work by Chavez Jones. I guess he switched the quarter, switched the quarterback. And now it looks like we had a penalty on the interception return. So the touchdown will be taken away. And this will set best up with a first down. So they will still have possession, but no touchdown for them yet. Yeah, like I was saying, you insert a different quarterback, Travis Jones, a, a quarterback with the coaches, uh, Dominique, Dominique Callaway, uh, had a little more faith in uh, Travis Jones in the passing game is uh, more than Andre Martin. When Andre Martin's in, you saw a lot of the run. You saw a lot of Chauncey Payne, but uh, – Less Chauncey Payne here in the second half. And the referee blows his whistle. As Waller will set up in the pistol. We'll have a first and 10 from Best's own 40 yard line. Snap is taken. This is handed off to Hester. And he gets around the edge and cuts back for a good gain there. Yeah, good footwork there. Yeah, good footwork there by Hester on the play. He has a lot of, a lot of juke, juke moves in his, in his arsenal. Used a few of them right there. Pick up good yards on first down. So second and one here for Best. As they will look to move into Thero territory. Waller will set up in shotgun. Low snap is taken. This will be a quick screen there to number 18, Robert Tucker. He has had a few receptions on the night, and that will be a first down for best. Yeah, Robert Tucker stand out on the defense side of the ball as well on the offense side of the ball, picking up a first down right there. This is first, this is best uh, first year uh, competing in the AA uh, with rank number eight currently in the AA classification. So now Waller will be in shotgun again. 
Snap is taken. This will be another screen to Hester. As they've tried that bubble screen a few times, and this time it works again. As this ball will now be fumbled. As Hester was tiptoeing down the sidelines, and he fumbled on the play. But we also have a flag. Yeah, it seemed that he didn't keep hold of the ball as he hit the sideline over there. And as he was tiptoeing, the man came and knocked it on out of his hands. He just got to have better ball security than that going down on the sideline. Knowing with the wet conditions out there, defense, Thero taking advantage. So Thero did pick that ball up, but we'll see what the penalty is. And it will go against Best, so Thero will decline and take over. So wasn't too depleting for Thero as the pick six got called back, and then you get a takeaway, and now you'll set up first and ten. Yeah, Thero still alive in this ball game with – Ten minutes left, more than ten minutes left to go in the ball game. They just got to get some things going on the offensive side of the ball with the switch at quarterback with uh, Jones in. Now they're able to move the ball uh, a little bit better on the offensive side. Less penalties and a lot of big plays. Snap is taken out by Jones. Thrown very deep, and he's got a man. As Ricky Wolf, who's had a big second half here with another huge reception, and that'll put Thero at their own 46 yard line. Yeah, Ricky Wolf climbed the ladder over the best defender right there to pick up that pick up that pass and that long yardage right there. Like I said, Jones in the in the ball game now. Uh, Coach Callaway has a little more faith in Jones' passing ability, and he's showcasing that in the second half. So it looks like Jones will be in shotgun again, and we have movement early, and there will be a flag. And it will be a false start on Thero. So that will move them back five yards and set up a first and 15. And yeah, that's what you don't need. you got consecutive positive plays on the defensive side of the ball going over to the offensive side of the ball, and you derail yourself with a penalty like that, especially trying to come back uh, from, the, from the deficit they're down. So try to get that cleaned up. Going forward in this, sec well, this fourth quarter. As uh, Chavis Jones will set up in shotgun. Rolls out to his right. He has a man. And he will now cut back up the middle and get to about the line of scrimmage. As that was Antoine Sutton who had a... Big game t two weeks ago on the reception. Yeah, good job by Sutton right there, feeling where the defender was and uh, turning, having a complete 360 turn to cut up the field. And even though it was a tackle for a loss, it was could have been a loss of three or four on the play, but just a loss of one. So Jones will be in shotgun again as Thero is throwing the ball. Pretty much every time since coming out for the second half. As Jones looks to throw deep again and just way overthrows Detravius Patterson. And had a man wide open down the, down the left sideline and just overthrew him a tad bit on the play. So now it'll be another third and long for Thorough. But they have converted a few of those in the second half so far. Yeah, a couple of big completions, a run on one and a pass interference. So we'll put them to air it out here and try to see what happens. Jones in shotgun. We'll take the snap, and this will be a direct run out to his left, but a big hit there by Robert Tucker. And that will now force a punt for Thero. Coach, coaches decide to go with a quarterback keep on third and long. They try to catch the defense off guard, but they read the play from the start and brought Jones down. Sets up a fourth and fourth down and eleven as the punt team for Thero comes onto the field. Not to the 
So Detrevious Patterson will punt it away. And Best will send two guys back to receive the kick. As Legron and Hester are back deep, this ball will be kicked. And it will not be fielded by Best. Thera will down it at the Best 27-yard line. So Best will come out on a first and ten. Yeah, we have a break in the action. I ask you all to download the Atlanta Football Insider app on iTunes and Google Play. And also check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Atlanta Football Insider. So we have seven minutes and 37 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. And Best, who is leading 15 to 6, will have the ball here in their own territory. So Deshaun Waller is out at quarterback again, as he has played that position all night, even though he is usually a running back. Waller now takes a direct snap. He gets to the outside, gets a man on a block. And he will get out to the 43-yard line. Waller right there taking a direct snap and just going around that right edge. And good job for the blocking downfield. We're going to pick up a, a big gain on the first down. Deshaun Waller coming in averaging 234 all-purpose yards per game. And he almost got it every bit of that tonight. So Waller will be in shotgun again. And it looks like Darrell will bring pressure as they almost got him. And Dexter Brown chasing him was not able to get him. But the reception is made on that play. Good job by, by Waller. Tyrion Riley, who had a touchdown catch earlier. Yeah, good job by Waller eluding the pressure right there. Making the defenders missing. Finding a man downfield. So we are now under seven minutes to play. This will set up a second and 13 for best. Shotgun formation. Low snap again, and Waller will just go right up the middle and gain about four yards. Yeah, a little snap right there. Looks like I almost dropped it. Almost like a blown play. He just just took off right up the middle and picked up what he could on the play. Yeah, so Cedric, you know, if you're Coach Moore, you have a big lead here. It's the fourth quarter. Do you try and, you know, make a big play here and end it? Or do you just play conservative and let the clock run? Well, you definitely go for the big play and try to – you got a team on his heels. It's been on his heels all game. Try to – Get the big play and get this first down and keep the clock running. As Waller will drop back and he throws deep and almost intercepted again by Corey Webb, who had one earlier in the second half. But he overthrew everyone on that play, and this will now set up a fourth and long. It overthrew overthrew the, the offensive player there and just the pressure in his face on that throw, uh, getting hit as he threw it, uh, probably led to that overthrow right there. But... Good job of the Thero Panthers getting the pressure on the fourth on the on the fourth down. Or third down, excuse me. The pressure on the third down and forcing the long throw. So DeShant Hester will punt now. And Jaquavius Lee will be back deep to Field the kick. And this is a high snap. And he basically just had to get it off of his foot. But it does take a good roll for Athero. Excuse me, for Best. And a Athero player jumped on top of it. And now it looks like it will be Best ball. Is that's, that's a bonehead play there by Best. Well, I guess the, the player, he, he tried to get the ball as before it rolled up. Uh, Rode any further down the field. And of course, the coaches probably wanted him to get away from it on the play, but Best hopping on top of 
on top of that, there's a mistake by the by the Thero, uh, kick return coverage, or punt return coverage, excuse me, and giving the giving the Eagles the ball again, setting up first down and another drive, and then maybe with this lead able to milk some of this clock. Yeah, so it was a poor snap, and Hester did all he could to just get it off his foot. So for Thero to jump on it unexpectedly was a bonehead decision there. And now this will be a low snap for Waller, but he still get, has a man. As, and he's still up. As that was Robert Tucker with another big reception. Yeah, Robert Tucker making his presence felt on the offensive side of the ball. The big target, 6'3", 220-pound junior, able to run down the field, make people miss, and get a long game. He's turning into a big recruit here in the Georgia area, and teams are starting to pay attention. Great skill set on the offense and the defense side of the ball, but good catch right there and run by Robert Tucker. So another first down for Best. Inside the red zone now, as they will look to score one more time tonight and maybe lock this game up. And you see the Best offense taking their time as they get to the line and letting this clock milk away. Waller now takes a snap, and he rolls out to his left, throws to the end zone, and he's got a man. Touchdown, best. As that was Brent, excuse me, Katarian Legrone. On the catch there for best. So add six more to their score. Yeah, good roll out with the throw, but also good block right there. In the backfield by Anthony Washington, uh, buying time for Waller to throw uh, throw the ball on the run there. Defender coming up the middle, and the fullback, Anthony Washington, picks him up. And Waller for the touchdown pass. So now Best will be on for the extra point. Two for two so far tonight. Excuse me, one for two. And this kick is through. So 22 to 6. Best over Thero. This is the Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. Best versus Thero. We have 5 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the game. We'll be back after this. Hey guys, join us at Dome Coming 2014 with APS versus DeKalb County Showdown. <laughs> This is Atlanta Football Insider Game of the Week. We are back. The kickoff here will roll out of bounds for best, as we've already seen Chauncey Payne with the big run back on the night. So they've kept it conservative since then. They're not trying to get him involved in the game at all. He's pretty much been not, not involved in the, the game uh, with the insertion of quarterback uh, uh, Chavez Jones. And he's... Had a spark to this thorough offense, but not able to cash in on points. Game near the end, five minutes left in the game. Thorough has, they need to score on this drive if they want to climb back in this one. Yeah, and they've got to score quick too as they're down by a few possessions. So if you're Chavis Jones in the offense, you've got to look to air it out deep or look for a solid run play, they can get you a big gain. Best leading the game 22 to six. The program has only been in existence for five years and been playing varsity schedule for only three years, so it's impressive. And now Jones will be sacked big in the backfield by Tyler Gibson, the big captain 6'2", 375 pound senior. So when he's coming at you, you don't have a lot to do. You really don't. He got through the line and he put his hand on him and just stopped him at the line. Playing the nose tackle in that 3-4 defense. Similar to a loaded As Jones nine. can't handle the snap, and it'll be a fumble. He'll not pick it up, and he is sacked there as he's taken right off his feet. 
avoided two guys, but couldn't get past that third. Jones taking down hard on the play. Gets up limping. Good job. Good pressure by that D-line. That D-line for best. And now we are under four minutes, and this will be a third and long here for Thero. Third and 20 to be exact from their own 29-yard line. This defensive best has played real well in this game and not had any many big plays. So this third and long, try to stop him here. Jones in the shotgun now. He'll take the snap. Looks deep, now he'll have to scramble, and he is sacked again. Big sack there. By number 44, Jalen Cannon. So this will be a fourth and very long here. Yeah, the offensive line not holding up that well. And a long, long third down. When the def defense knows you're passing, you can load up any blitz. It looks like a zone blitz there on the play. Confused Jones and was brought down in the backfield. So, Detravius Patterson will punt for Thero. Takes a snap and. This will be kind of a line drive, squib type punt. And no one will touch it. So Thera will down it at their own 48 yard line and Best will take over. This Best team came into the season returning nine starters. Have four players on last year's team make all region teams. So you got a team with talent that's known to reload and do a good job of fielding teams, especially Program only play playing varsity for uh, varsity schedule for only three years. So I was saying earlier that's really impressive by this best academy Eagles squad. So best here with only two minutes and twenty one seconds to go. We'll be looking to run out the clock. As you've got to imagine with the great running backs they have, they'll be running it for the rest of the way. Waller takes a snap, and it looks like. He wanted to pitch it to Hester, but Hester wasn't looking, so Waller had to take the sack. And now he is slow to get up. Yeah, Waller, just a miscommunication between the running back and Waller there. Waller did a good job of noticing that pressure and keeping the ball. So now with a minute and 55 seconds to go, this will set up a second and 15 for best. I spoke about best returning nine starters. The Thero Panthers come in with only five seniors on the whole football team, so just contrasting players there. As Waller will take the low snap and pitch it to Hester this time, and Hester dances around, but he wasn't able to get much there. Just a toss play to Hester right there. Wasn't able to get corralled by that Thero, Thero defense, and making a few people miss and picking up a good three yards on the carry. So third and long here for best. And we have hit the one minute mark in the game. So Waller will take another low snap and fakes it, but and now he will throw as he tried to hit Robert Tucker, but it's incomplete, and we will have a flag. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to run at first, then he changed his mind, and he ended up throwing it there as he was running out of bounds. Looked like Robert Tucker down on the other end of that. And it's looking like this will go against Thorough, waiting on the referee's decision. And yes, it will be against Thorough. 
This will now move best up for a first and ten. Automatic first down right there, and it essentially pretty much ends the game right there. Cause they, yeah. best, they, they want they can run the clock out. Does it look like it was a personal foul as he hit Robert Tucker pretty close to the sideline there? So Best will look to run out the clock here as Waller will be in shotgun. Waller now will take the low snap once again and just go right out to his left and run into a Thorough defender. It's a little safe play right there, direct snap. You see the running back come up with the lead block and pretty much a running play right there and picking up the yardage there to get the clock running as they run the, try to run the clock out. And now it looks like they will just let the clock run out. So that will be your ball game, folks. Your final score here tonight at Lakewood Stadium. The best Eagles 22, the Thero Panthers 6. This has been another great edition of Atlanta Football Insider. Now we will send it down to Dawn on the field. Hey guys, this is Dawn. I'm standing here with Deshaun Waller. He is the Streets 94.5 player of the game. How are you feeling? I'm feeling real good. Okay, you guys won 22 to 6 and you had three touchdowns. Now, how did you maintain momentum in the second half? Uh, second half, they gave us a little extra time sitting there. And as a, as a starting quarterback from from a team, help I learned how to lead my team out, and learned learned from what my coaches you know, were teaching me, and I just played off what they were telling me about. All right, well, congratulations, okay. And Coach Moore, you did say you were going to keep the momentum going in the second half due to the rain delay. You did it. How do you feel? I feel a whole lot better, <laughs> a lot better than I did going in the halftime. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm confident with the win. I'm happy with it, but uh, we got some work to do. We got a big game next week against Love It, our first region game, defending state champ, and uh, it's not going to cut it for next week. So we got to get better this week. All right. Well, thank you, guys, and congratulations on your win. Let's take a look at the life enhancement services play of the game. Here, Waller drops back to Travius Patterson with the big pressure, but Waller's able to get out, and there goes up the middle. Now it looks like he might go. He's tiptoeing down the sidelines now. No one's going to get him. Touchdown, Deshaun Waller. Deshaun Waller with a great display of athleticism right there. The Thero Panthers come on the blitz. In the backside, not, not keeping contained and staying in their lanes. And Deshaun Waller taking advantage, racing down the sideline for a long touchdown. 70 yards. <laughs> 